Hey, what's going on YouTube? JJML TV HD review ting yet again. Sony SRS XB21 extra bass speaker. So this is the second generation of Sony's extra bass speakers. I, I can't even say extra bass in inverted commas because they do have extra bass a lot more, I feel, than Flip, you know, um, JPL Audio do, or um, who's the other one? Is it Urban Ears or is it Urban Sighting? Urban whatever they're called, the ones that I had before. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> I'll put the link in the description to the ones I'm talking about. But yeah, this is their XP21. It's their smallest um, extra bass speaker in their second generation. Um, yeah, I've, I've heard the reviews on it have been a bit mixed. And when I say a bit mixed, um, to be honest, they've been a bit negative. Like, they've been compared with JBL speakers and the Urban, I think it's the Urban Ears um, speakers and... Yeah, people have just said that they're very dead, everything like that. Um, I've used these and I've used, I've seen the JPL speakers in Curry's PC world and I've kind of had a little test and a little listen to all of them. And I feel these speakers are quite decent. Um, you know, they've got the extra bass mode, live sound mode. Um, they've got a little bit of light in top and bottom. Um, IP67 obviously and they say 12 hour battery. Now the 12 hour battery I'm going to speak to you about right now. Um, in order to get their 12 hour battery promise, what they do is they start to bottleneck the volume of the speaker, the maximum volume of the speaker when the battery drops below 30%. So what that essentially means is, whereas it gets very loud at 100% battery and you know, it's, um, it's just generally very quite a loud speaker for its size, when it gets to 30% battery, the maximum volume is capped at like i think like 40 or 50 percent volume um which is just a little bit louder than my mobile phone than my um huawei p20 which also has stereo speakers um which makes it kind of useless because you're kind of thinking to yourself now right i've got a loudspeaker you know i've got a portable bluetooth speaker the battery's running low and now it's playing at the same volume as my phone so maybe I might as well not have the volume, not have the speaker right now and just use my phone. It's quite ridiculous. Um, not, I mean, it's not as quiet as my phone, but it's to the point that, you know, where you, whereas you had it loud, you can now not have it as that loud. And it's just ridiculous. Like, so for example, let's put it into perspective with cars. Imagine your car does normally, you know, 70 miles per hour plus, whatever, cool. Now let's imagine your petrol gets quite low. <laughs> or goes below 40% or 50% of the maximum petrol that your car can hold. Imagine if your car now starts to drive 20 miles per hour maximum just because your petrol is low. <laughs> like, it's just, it's just counterproductive. I don't understand why they would do that. I mean, I do understand. I read on their website that apparently the voltage um, or the output of power at maximum volume is very um, sporadic kind of thing. So... To protect the speaker and protect the user, I'm assuming, they've had to turn it down when it gets to a low volume. I mean, when it gets to a low battery percentage, so that, you know, apparently the speaker won't blow up. But I think it gets so low that I'd rather the speaker just turn off altogether and for them to say, oh, you only actually get two hours of battery life. <laughs> because it's just, it's just ridiculous, guys. And the battery, the lights don't really take a lot of battery either i've you know i've been testing it for about a week now i've taken it on holiday i found out days with the battery on or days with the battery off i get about i don't know maybe 20 more minutes of listening time it's not that deep um but what is deep is the fact that it turns down tremendously and ridiculously when the battery gets low to the point where it's just annoying and i'm actually gonna return it because i just don't see how that idea how that crazy design flaw was okayed through quality testing um but anyway yeah now that i've ranted about that i can show you the settings and stuff and the buttons and stuff um it's just a bit weird it's like i've done this video backwards but yeah on the top there on button volume up volume down bluetooth light there which you can probably just about see flashing on and off and you've got your play pause and answer call drop call button on the top left now, you've got your NFC point. Done all the done all, so you can connect that real quick. And it's quite good. Um, it essentially sends instructions to the phone to connect via Bluetooth. So if I do that now, 
it says connecting to SS SRS XP21 and now as you can see it is connected so yeah that um that works kind of cool um, with the NFC and all that on the back you've got another control panel kind of thing going on here um, and essentially you've got your battery button um, which will tell you you know you can turn off the lights or you can turn on um, a notification which tells you how good or how well you're doing with battery um, the only problem with that is that the battery either tells you if you're near 100% at 100% or if you're around 50% that's literally all it tells you. It doesn't say 63% or 73% or 70%. Even if it rounded up or down to the nearest 10, that would make sense to me. But for it to just say, yeah, you're all right. Like, let's see now. I think I'm nearly halfway with my battery. Battery, about 50%. About 50%. So what is that? 55, 60, 45 or 40? Um, <laughs> what is that? What does that mean? How could they be so ambiguous as to what your battery is? Um, I don't understand. But anyway, yeah, you've got a wireless party chain functionality there where you can connect a lot of these speakers together and have them all playing at the same time. Or, from what I understand, you've got this add speaker mode which basically lets you add another speaker so that this can play in, um, the right stereo channel and the other speaker can play the left stereo channel. Um, and obviously, you've got your 35 millimeter in for, you know, um, just plugging stuff in straight and you've got your USB micro USB port for charging which is quite decent as well okay I'm running out of battery to record this video which is quite awkward let me just get that plug so yeah what I'm trying to show you right now is the application for the um, speaker itself um, but there's just so many bugs of it like it just loads forever I've been actually trying to load this for a good couple of minutes now and it doesn't want to load. Let me just see if I can just reset my phone. What is this? Cannot access the selected device. Please verify the power source of the device network connection. It says it's connected. What? What does this mean? Right, so after disconnecting the speaker, removing it from my Bluetooth devices, reconnecting and repairing the speaker, and then deleting and reinstalling this app, I finally got it to work with uh, the, um, with the whatever it's called, whatever I'm talking about, with this. Okay, so it's working now. Um, and see, yeah, so it's, the app's quite, it's okay. Um, it's basically got your music library there and another music player or it, you know can shortcut to your other music players um yeah and it's got settings for sound so you can you know put it on standard mode extra bass or live sound mode um i could try to show you them but i'm not sure if it will show you how good each mode is because i've only got like a mono speaker kind of situation at the moment but um yeah battery level about 50 what does that even mean battery level voice um, automatic standby, blah, 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 Bluetooth standby, um, illumination, so you can put the lights off or you can turn them on. Um, not sure if you guys can see that there. Hopefully if I turn it this way and put this box here. Yeah, there you go. Now you can see the lights. Um, so yeah, you can have them doing whatever they're doing. Um, what other mode have you got here on this app? Other settings, Bluetooth codec, you can put it on SPC. Um, system settings, that's not much there, and party booster, which is quite cool. Um, so I'm going to turn that on now and show you exactly what that does. So it turns the um speaker into like some kind of makeshift drum kit. So And yeah, that's basically the um, <laughs> the party, whatever it's called, party booster. But it seems like the harder you hit it, the louder it is. <laughs> yeah, so um, that's the party booster mode. Um, not sure when I'll actually use that, but it was, it was just a bit of banter to show your friends. Be like, yeah, let's try and do this to the beat. 
um, and you've got like custom stuff where you can just change the effect of everything there it's very mad um, lots of different effects it's not really that sensitive but um <laughs> But yeah, it's just, it's just fun to play with kind of thing. Um, but yeah, that's my review. The yeah, the sound the sound is brilliant. It's amazing. But when the battery's low, as I've said many times in this video, the sound goes all the way down the hill, and it is capped at like forty percent. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment, subscribe, like, and I'll catch you in the next one. J Jamo out.